Hey everybody, it's me, Zach. This is Judy, and welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and I'm back, back, back again today to discuss more of Darlene Michaud and her, her completion of the 72-hour challenge of eating only sardines. And also to check in about this video. Well, I'm going to give you a recap because she did one final video about the sardine challenge, okay? So I'm going to give you a recap of that video in case you haven't watched it in your own time. It was a pretty short video and basically she didn't add a whole lot of new information, but there are a few things I want to touch on. And then the very next day she did a separate video to address that she lost 10 more pounds. So if you haven't followed her for a while, she does do an update video on, I guess, her diet, her weight, etc. every time she loses 10 more pounds in her life. Which is all very interesting because she very much does harp again and again and again. She's not doing this for weight loss, which we'll get into here in just a second. But it is a video she regularly does to give an update to everybody who watches her channel. So I'll leave you some timestamps down below so that you can go to the part of the video you want to go to the most. I also want to do a quick PSA to remind people once again that I found Darlene through some Twitch viewers and I have started re-uploading the reaction portions of my Twitch streams onto a third channel called Zachary Michael also. I'll leave a link for that down below in the description box and maybe even in a pinned comment. And I also want to give a programming announcement that I am actually going on vacation this weekend, so there may be a decrease in the number of videos that I can post starting on Thursday. <laughs> so if you don't see me post for a while, that's what's going on. I just want to let people know in case they're concerned or worried that I haven't posted anything. So with that being said, let's just get into the recap of the very last 72-hour sardine challenge video that Darlene posted. So at the end of her four days, so it's 72 hours, but then she went on to acknowledge that she actually really did it probably for four days based on when she started and what she had eaten on the day she had started. And over the course of those four days, she actually consumed 12 entire cans of sardines, and then of course her sticks of butter. On the first day she went back to eating a non-all sardine diet. She, she got into that ground beef so hard, she was so excited to be neck deep in a bowl of ground beef. So that's, that's immediately what she went back to and it was very satisfying for her. She does, however, say that in the future moving forward, she may opt to try and do Oh my god, Poe, I don't know if you heard all those noises, but Poe is trying to get comfortable. He is in the room too, but he's like laying on one of my hoodies behind me, and he's just trying to get so comfortable right now, being so distracting to me. Uh, anyways, besides the point, <laughs> the point being is that moving forward, Darlene is going to try to do one can of sardines per day, and she's going to chill them, and she's going to split it up two sardines first thing in the morning, to as a little nighttime bedtime snack. And I just wanna assure you that she feels great and you don't have to fucking worry about her having any sardine burps. I feel good, I feel great. I never burped up sardines. And on top of that, I just love that she is once again going out there suggesting that this is good for you, that it, it, you should try it, whoever, whatever, all while simultaneously acknowledging that she's done like next to no research and has no real evidence or proof outside of her own lived experience to back this up. I would absolutely do this challenge again, but like I said, uh, sardines, herring, mackerel, anchovies, and salmon are all very good for us, supposedly. I haven't done too much reading into it because I just do stuff and then I decide for myself and then I do research if I want. And as I mentioned in my little introduction today, I just need to reassure you that she alleges that she's not trying to lose weight. I am not out to lose weight. I'm out to heal things that carnivore can do for me. I'm out to see if sardines might help me in some way and uh, weight loss is just a side effect of carnivore. But I did just want to include her saying that because she is in fact, well we are in fact, going to be reacting to a video where she's highlighting another 10 pound weight loss. 
But in her words, weight loss is just a side effect of the carnivore diet. And all of this is also silly because at some point during this video, she also very much does acknowledge that, you know, she was so close to the next 10 pound goal that she had for herself. And, and by goal, I mean, she's not trying to lose weight, uh, but she was so close to the 10 pound goal that she felt like doing the sardine challenge might help her get the rest of the way there. So on Sunday, I weighed 213. Nine, 11, 12, 13. Correct. 213. And I was okay with that because I know dairy, like cheese and things like that, I'm gaining weight. Or at the very least, I'm going to stay stuck. And I was okay. So I said, well, that's another reason to maybe do this challenge. And yeah, it worked for me. But again, she's not doing this to lose weight, which is just like, I don't understand why she doesn't just acknowledge that part of her reasoning for this is to lose weight. I feel like, I don't know, in her mind, she's trying to rationalize this being like normal behavior, normal eating, whoever, whatever. And that if she starts talking like she's doing this for weight loss, it might, it might make it seem like she's not doing this for healthy reasons. It really doesn't make a lot of sense to me because I think a lot of people would not fault her for wanting to do it for weight loss, but she's just so damn adamant that that's not what she's doing it for, even though she's constantly reminding us what her weight is and, and things like that. And spoiler alert, she does surpass her 10 pound goal and in fact loses, she had already lost some before the challenge started and she lost an additional five pounds while the challenge was going on, so she has, in fact, met the 10-pound goal. And that brings us to today's reaction, <laughs> which is reacting to a video from Darlene called, I lost 10 more pounds, lost 130 pounds total so far. Totally sounds like somebody who's not trying to lose weight. So that's the video we're going to react to. So let's get to, let's get to, shall we? Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. Hi. I am here. Does she look, not, not to be rude, but does she look like particularly sweaty today or is it just me? Hot. <laughs> I just got back from hanging out poolside with my friends Donna and oh, Melissa. Oh, maybe she's and, just wet. Uh, I got a little bit of sun on my face and I'm hot and I turn my AC off when I'm gone for any length of time. It stays pretty cool, but uh, I just took my shower and I was drying my hair. My oh, hair's still wet. And she's just wet. She, <laughs> she's wet. She, she's just wet. In my head, I'm already seeing the comments in my, in my comment section. Zach, what do you know about just being wet? I know, I got it, I got it, I know. Boy, it looks like this, I'm in a rush. Lately, I have been in a rush every time I sit down. Rush, like the, the like the Troy Sivan song? Y'all know that gay ass song? The Rush song by Troy Sivan? As you can see by the thumbnail, I lost another 10 pounds. Work, and Diva. I can explain to you how that 10 pounds came about. And I do want to mention that in case you see that I don't have any nail polish on my thumb, I'm taking my nail polish off, but I decided I, I can do that when I'm uploading because I need to hurry up and record. <laughs> she said, I started the process, I got one thumb in. I got one thumb into the process and I said, I can't waste time on this. I gotta immediately film. And then I have to make sure to point out to everybody that I only have one thumb without nail polish. Girl, I would have, I promise you, I wouldn't have noticed. I pro and that's just like also, I mean, I know we talk about that a lot when it comes to Amberlynn. She's constantly pointing things out. And I do think it's an interesting thing that not just Amberlynn does, but a lot of YouTubers do. And I think, I think maybe as YouTubers, we're just like hypersensitive to knowing what people comment about in our comments. But the reality is, is she might get like a couple comments about why don't you have nail polish on that one thumb. And the reality is, is most people were not gonna notice that, you know? And also if somebody does notice it, who cares? <laughs> who cares? Nail polish, no nail polish, terrible nail polish job. <laughs> I'm ignoring my nails lately. My last weigh-in that I updated with you guys uh -huh. was July 11. Oh. I, so it's been a couple point, months. I had lost a total Wait. of 120. No, it hasn't been a couple months. It's been one month. 
It's been one month since I looked at you. <laughs> Do y'all love the bare naked ladies? I don't know why I'm in such a singing mood lately. I think I've always been in a singing mood, but I'm so sorry. Let's get back on track. Eight pounds. Oh yeah. If you're not familiar with this series, I don't even know if I have a series just for the weight loss, but um, I, it's in my high fat carnivore playlist. Okay. Whatever playlist it's in, I will link to it in the description box down below. I'd like she, to uh, start one just for the weight loss because... She is a businesswoman and... <laughs> what was that? Let me go get this for y'all because literally she had that quote in the last video I reacted to about being a businesswoman and somebody from my Twitch community made it like a little cutesy little Pinterest quote, Instagram quote looking thing. Let me just put it up for you and read it off to you again to remind you what she said about being a businesswoman and looking forward. She said, I am a businesswoman who never looks back. My journey is always forward. <laughs> And I just love that as a thought because that was her, really her reasoning for like why, you know, she doesn't care if me or other people like react to or comment on old videos because that's now her past and she's only looking forward. But because she's a businesswoman, she also knows that she wants y'all to go watch her old videos even if she is only looking forward and she wants you to go watch her old videos because she's a businesswoman and she knows that that's engagement for her, that's views for her, but it also, it's a little bit selfish too. It's a little, that's the businesswoman in her, but then the selfish part of her is, I don't want to answer your questions 1200 times. So go watch my old videos so you know, because I'm not, I'm not wasting my time. And to some extent, that's like some girl boss. That's some girl boss energy there as well because she's like, I only have so much time. I'm a working woman. I'm an independent woman. I'm a girl boss. I, I don't have time to answer these, <laughs> these ratty old questions that y'all got because y'all were too lazy to go watch my old videos. So sh this is, it's a little contradictory to, for her to say like, oh, go look at these old videos when her reasoning was like, I only look forward, who cares about what happened in the past? But it makes a lot of sense if you think about it from her perspective of being a businesswoman. You know what I'm saying? The others get lost because I go weeks, you know, before another update. So go check that out. I also have playlists for- She Radio does look Carnivore. so red in the face. It goes from 2016 through 2022, and then High Fat Carnivore, which is what I am now, which is um, still carnivore, but a lot of animal fat included. That uh, starts um, at the beginning of 2023 to now. So go watch those playlists if you want to know what the fuck I'm talking about. Because I cannot <laughs> explain it every time. Exactly. Uh, Girl line. boss. I'm carnivore, specifically high fat carnivore. Work. I eat meat and animal products only. Okay? And I've been doing this for. Girl, yes, what? <laughs> I wish she would just like take some time to breathe to cool off from from whatever it was that made her so hot and sweaty because you can see it's like right here she's glistening and then she just we just witnessed her wipe her upper lip off because she's so hot and listen it's fine she lives in mississippi i'm sure it's hot as fucking balls there i'm sure it is <laughs> just take a breather bestie boo uh, almost seven years yeah I, I will cool off there Pl in a little bit. please and at 100 pounds, I did my first I lost 100 pounds video. Uh -huh. And I told you guys I would do 10 pounds, uh, a video every 10 pounds after that. And For I've done sure. two so far before this one. So that means I lost 120 pounds. And now I'm going to take you through the 10 pounds that I just lost. <laughs> uh, so now I have lost 130 pounds. I started at 338. And uh, wow. uh, I'm now 208, which means... The next time I do a 10 pound loss, I will be under 200 pounds. Wow. And I'm pretty sure that's the first time that I will see a two in the front for over 30 years. I just, just as a reminder, <laughs> And my recap, I, I highlighted how she said she doesn't do this for, for weight loss, okay? So, you know what? I, you know, I was, I was ready to give her congratulations and things like that because it seems like, you know, that's what she would like to do. Uh, and, and or it seems like that's what you would normally say. I got this thread on these shorts. Let me just... <laughs> 
<laughs> my attention span is so weak today. Um, yeah, but I'm not going to congratulate her because she doesn't even want to lose weight. This is just a side effect of being on carnivore, y'all. I know I had a period there somewhere in that 30-year block <laughs> that I had lost weight. Oh, when she... <laughs> When she said period, I'm like, a, pe a period? Like, what kind of period are we talking about here? But she meant, like, a period of time. Okay. Uh, but I don't remember ever seeing a one in the front. I think I got really close, maybe 204, okay. if I remember right. Maybe there. So I don't think I saw a one. Uh, and I'm going to see that next updates. Okay, but we don't care about weight loss, so who cares? So, my last <laughs> who cares? update was July 11. At that time, I was 218. Mm -hmm. And it was July 11, and I decided I was not going to weigh myself until August 1st, because we all fluctuate, even a carnivore will so, fluctuate. So true! And once I... Lo love hearing, love hearing um, a girl, girly girl, uh, be honest about that. See that I hit my goal? I don't want to take a chance and weigh myself and see that it went up. So I just leave it there what? and I wait a few weeks. But girl, why, <laughs> why does it matter if you don't care about weight loss? See, this is, this is why I knew that this video was going to infuriate me, because the whole video is about... I gotta stop bringing that up, because I'm going to be saying it the whole video otherwise. But I knew this video was going to be irritating, because she just is so adamant that she doesn't care about weight loss. And here she's like, well, I didn't want to ruin the 10-pound the weight loss I had, so I just didn't weigh myself for a month. Girl, <laughs> if you don't care, then why does it matter? And again... Uh, I'm not doing this shit for weight loss. It's a symptom of the way I eat. I'll take it. I'll take it. And I do not, uh, I would not weigh myself probably for a year. I've gone as long as uh, 14 months without weighing myself. Okay. Um, that's why I'm not sure so, 338 was actually my highest. It, it could have been higher than that. So why, so why are we weighing ourselves then? <laughs> so why are we doing it? I don't understand. I think it was. Uh, but I'm starting with that because that's the highest I saw on my scale. Uh, I would not bother to weigh myself for long periods at a time. So why are we I doing do it now? Because of this series. So I do weigh myself. Oh. Okay. So oh, it's not for her. It's for us, the audience at home. <laughs> it's for us, the audience at home, who are are watching it and and getting this this knowledge and insight from her and it's for our entertainment purposes so at that point i told myself july 11 was my last weigh-in uh for that update and i said i'll wait till august 1st that was going to be three weeks and so i did wait until august 1st okay i uh was not dancing as often during those three weeks because Things just weren't working out with finding the right friends who would want to dance. And so I was starting to, like, not dance as much. Okay. I didn't swim. I had the sinus thing going on. Just didn't feel up to swimming. I was tired and all kinds of stuff. I still ate every time that I was hungry and still ate until I was full. And I ate quite a bit. <laughs> More than I think usual because I wasn't feeling well, because I was a little... Oh. Just worried about not... I am recalling now, so this is an update for y'all, since she's. I'm just now bringing her to the YouTubies, but there was a period of time where she was, like, feeling sick, didn't go to the doctor for it, was sick for, like, a week, didn't go to the doctor for it, didn't get tested for anything, and was still attempting to go out and about and live her life. And I was just like, girl, what are we doing? Why, why are you, if you're not feeling well, well, you know where your ass needs to be? At home, in bed, resting. <laughs> which, there was some periods of time she's like, I really wanted to go out today, I just couldn't. Which, like, work, good for you. But there were times where I was like, girl, why are you trying to go out? <laughs> why are you, like, get some fucking rest, girly girl. I'm going out as much and stressed that... I couldn't go out every night or at least dancing five nights a week like I wanted to. And I wanted to be comfortable with that. So it was a little bit of a stressful period. So I thought, gee, I'm eating a lot. And I, I forget carnivore is going to do its thing. If it's time uh -huh. for me to lose weight, carnivore is going to say, hey, let's, let's, uh, let's just take some more weight off her. So when I weighed myself... You just, have to, you just have to trust the all-knowing carnivore gods and goddesses that they will do their thing. Let Jesus take the wheel. 
He will make us lose weight. Carnivore Jesus, that is. I don't know if Jesus ate carnivore. No, he didn't because he was turning water into wine and eating bread or whatever, right? <laughs> Isn't that what Jesus did? I'm infamously an atheist. Don't come for me. I, I don't know about that. Weeks after the last update, on August 1st, I had lost nine pounds. Wow. And I really was, like, shocked. Okay. And I told you guys, I did a little sneak peek. I did a little bit of uh, uh -huh. letting you guys know that, which I don't normally do, but I did. And so you guys knew I had lost nine you know, pounds. I had one more pound to go to do my next update, which is- I have to tell y'all, I don't know why I give you a recap sometimes, because half of this shit is the same shit she just said in that sardine video. And for, for somebody who's out here that's like, I'm not going to repeat myself. Y'all need to go watch all my old videos. She sure the fuck does repeat herself a lot. I've also said so many F-bombs today. But I think that's truly because I'm watching Darlene. And Darlene loves an F-bomb. So I know she won't be offended by it. And I'm just really embodying her energy today. Which is what I'm doing right now. And I told you guys it could be... Tomorrow, it could be a week, it could be two weeks. It I've could be after I do a 72 hour sardine one, challenge. I lost one pound in five weeks. And then after that, I lost eight pounds in 10 days. All right, and then it took me another 10 days to lose that last pound. I think that's um, how the, the last one or the, the one before, I don't know, but that's how it worked one time. So I just never know. And I knew that I was gonna be making some snacky stuff for Derek, I was going yeah, to watch Yeah, you've already Skyler, said all of this. I ended up she, buying stuff. She literally did say all of this in the end of the 72 hour sardine challenge video. She talked specifically about the going and watching Big Brother, which love that we have that in common, that we both watch Big Brother. But she talked about that. She talked about getting the pepperoni, the, the pork rinds, the cheese for snacks and everything. We've talked about this, darling. Stuff that I didn't even have. I made a whole bunch of chicken wings. I only ate one of those at my apartment. I was preparing in advance and I made dip and I had pork rinds. I didn't eat any of that. But I made the mistake of buying a big bag of pepperoni at Walmart, uh -huh. the biggest one, and two kinds of grated cheese. This is all carnivore. It's all stuff I can eat. It's, it's all okay. optimal. Dairy causes me to have joint pain, but if I do it for just a little bit, I'm okay. Pepperoni has seasonings. I don't do well with seasonings. If you're carnivore and you do well with seasonings or some processed meat that doesn't bother you, you're more than welcome to, to do that. It's still carnivore. It's better than uh, a piece of cake. You know? Ima imagine not doing well with seasonings. Imagine reacting negatively to seasonings and having bland, flavorless ground beef for the rest of your life. Mmm. Oh, well, I guess you got butter, too. Mmm. You know, um, I tried to do it just once in a blue moon, and I brought the, the leftovers home, the pepperoni and the cheese, and I don't no normally do that. I leave all the leftovers for Derek, but uh, I knew and I that I, I was in the mood for that. And I uh -huh. probably ate pepperoni and cheese uh, and feta cheese too. Um, <laughs> Like over a period it, of three or four days. It's important to know that it was feta, which feta is delicious. Did y'all get on that? This is not carnivore. Warning. This is not carnivore. But when whenever we were all in lockdown, did y'all get on that TikTok trend of making the feta and tomato pasta? That shit is so good. Noel still sometimes will just like get a block of feta and make that for us. So good. And... Uh, I also was still eating my beef. It's always beef or whatever meat. Always is beef. the bulk of what I eat. I didn't fill up on just that stuff. It was in addition to. I gained, uh, and I, I saw that I gained like at least three pounds, and then I started this sardine challenge. Uh. I have a playlist for that. It's five episodes. <laughs> um, go check that out. I'll also go check it out. I'm not gonna repeat myself. She's gonna get ready to tell us about the, the overview of the sardine challenge. Why I recap that video. In hindsight, I could have saved myself so much time. I, I could already be done reacting to this video at this point. I'll have that in the description box. I'm not going to cover all of that just a little bit because it involves why this video is a little bit late. Okay. Uh, because I did two things at once. I ended the sardine challenge and I hit my goal. Uh, Multitasking queen. So when I started the sardine challenge, I weighed in at 213. That means I had, I had lost nine pounds and I gained four. So now to reach my goal, I needed to lose 
five. Okay. I ended up losing five during that, uh, at the end of that sardine challenge. War. Which was like four days that I worked on that. And that was on August 10. So it took me from August 1st to August 10 to gain four pounds. And, and lose five. And lose those four pounds, plus lose the additional pound that I needed. That was all good. And now we, we're that. there. We made so it. August 10, and I'm not sure if I'm uploading this on the 11th or the 12th. So I don't, we'll see I don't how, know. how it goes. I don't know when she uploaded it, honestly. Um, I'm not reacting to it on the day that she uploaded it. It's been a few days, I think, at least since she uploaded it. And I'm doing this on the 15th of August. But August 10 is when I made my my next 10 pound goal. So it was um, July 11 to August 10, so like a month. So that was good, considering I even had gained uh, uh, again, I, and, and I'm sure I gained I thought, throughout. I, mean, I thought we're supposed to be neutral about weight loss. We don't care about weight loss. How can it be good or bad then? <laughs> Like, like, it's good to you because you are losing weight and you do care about losing weight. I, I'm so sorry if I sound like a broken record with that, but it's so irritating to me as a concept. I mean, that's why I don't weigh myself. I don't like to see it. So now it is August 10. It's 11. August 11 right now as I'm recording. I'm not weighing myself. I didn't weigh myself um, this morning. I'm not weighing myself. Is this really? Is this Friday? It's Friday. It's yes, it Friday, I'm not Friday. I'm waiting myself until maybe September 1st, you know, because I don't need to see that. Sure. Especially when I go under 200, I'll probably go a full month without weighing myself because I never want to see that two again. So <laughs> when I hit under but you, 200. But you don't care. But you don't care. How she can listen to herself say this all back when she's going through editing this video. <laughs> I just want to know what what the little the little people inside her brain are doing to make her like so like not able to to hear herself and the contradictions. I am staying off that scale. Probably like I said, I might go a full month because I want to make sure the next time I weigh myself, it's still under 200 because it does fluctuate. It does that for everyone. It does. And, and that is uh, true. So I'm, just, I'm very happy with my progress. I, uh, in 20 more pounds, it will be 150 pounds lost. And at that point, I'd like to go get, you know, some pictures and do a slideshow of the pictures of when I was at my bi biggest at the beginning of my channel. The thing is, is everything is like most... Dear viewer, dear viewer, can you imagine what, based on everything you've watched so far in this video, what I'm about to say? What, why would we do before and after pictures if this is not about weight loss? It's just also so funny to me because it's not about weight loss, but like she talks a lot about how doing carnivore has helped a lot with inflammation, which like diet does have a big impact from like my experience and my knowledge about it. I'm not an expert, but from my understanding, your diet does have a large impact on inflammation. But the other thing that probably does have an impact on like how her joints and her bones and things like that feel is the fact also that she has lost, I mean, 130 pounds. That's a lot of impact on your joints and things like that. And so I'm just like, you do, it's, you can say that you care about weight loss. You clearly do if you're going to go do before and after pictures, which also speaking of the, the inflammation and stuff like that, she doesn't really touch on it in any video, uh, but she, well, she talked about it originally when she started the sardine challenge that she wanted to like get rid of this little tiny joint pain she has in one of her knees and she was hoping that the sardine challenge would help with that. And she never brings it up again in terms of like talking about how the challenge went. But I do remember seeing in her comment section, somebody asked about it. And she said that the sardine challenge didn't really have any impact on it. So in case you were wondering about that, because she was doing it for that. That's the reason, not weight loss. Sleep, waist up. And I know some people said, yeah, but we see you. You, you used to go in and out of the post office. But that's after I had already lost a chunk. That's when I lived here and I was doing that. I had already lost maybe like 50 pounds or so. So I, I'd like to try to find something 
you know, um, I just have to go through Facebook and all kinds of things, see if, see what I can find. If there's any oh, for the before and after pictures, pictures. Even if I'm just yeah. Like, I know. I think there was a picture when I was sitting like on the edge of a chair. And it was like a family picture, and uh, you know, you could definitely see how big I was then. But okay. I don't know if it was my biggest. I don't know. I, I, it never dawned on me that I would ever need before pictures. You, and you, and guess what? You still don't. Technically, you really don't need them if you don't want to. There, there's no need for that. So I just didn't bother to do that. Oh, so the sardine challenge. Please go watch that. Uh, but I did forget to mention in the end of that series, people asked, so hopefully those same people are watching this. Uh -huh. I'm pretty sure they are. I had said that. I was curious because the sardines are supposed to be very good for inflammation also. The way that I just predict these things, I just talked too early. I This is a good reminder that I just need to let these girls cook. <laughs> let these girls cook. Let them talk. Let them do what they need to do. Because she she's getting ready to bring it up. And... I always have a little bit of inflammation or at least a little bit of pain in one knee. When I do dairy or if I was to eat a lot of spicy, processed, seasoned things, I will get inflammation sure. to the point where both knees hurt, both hips hurt, both shoulders hurt. I've had it as bad to start hurting my fingers and my ankles. Uh, as long as I'm dairy free, like if, let's just say I'm doing beef, some other meat and then you know, my water and my butter. All the inflammation goes away except for a little tiny pain in, in one knee that does yeah. not affect my life at all. I can do anything <laughs> I want. I can climb a mountain maybe and that knee would uh, not. I, I would like to see that. I would, can we get the darling climbs a mountain vlog? I would like to see that. Bother me. It's just like. One little spot, like if I rub it, I can feel that. But I, you know, you guys know I've been doing a lot of dancing, so it doesn't affect me at all. But she, if I she's start above with the dairy knee pain. and that stuff, that knee can hurt to the point where it makes me okay. not even get really get to the point though. Just tell everybody that the sardines didn't help, please. Let's <laughs> let's speed it up. I will say this: I told this story a lot quicker than she is right now. Let's be very fucking serious about that. Really able to bend that knee. I mean, I, it's just very very painful, and I know I have videos when that used to flare up all the time, and it was like almost a constant that my knee did not want to bend. It was so inflamed. Ooh, is he? Wait, 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 wait. Pay attention, to, pay attention to her hand. Very, very painful. And I know I have videos when that used to flare Ready? up all the time. And it was like almost a constant that my knee is did not he? want to bend. It was so inflamed and I used to is joke he? that I probably have to walk he, you know. like a crab because I could move my leg this way, but it didn't want to go forward. Uh, that's how bad the joint pain was for me. And then I don't suffer with that. Just I'm so thrilled for you. Meeting. Is there anything else? I really want to try to get this uploaded. Me too. You guys, I'm jumping in. Oh. I have like eight more minutes of footage that I have to edit, and I just don't have the time for that <laughs> because it, it takes quite a bit of time for me to edit. I uh, love, I love that. I love that, and it, it, it that is giving kind of little Amberlynn vibes. Jumping in, mm, I, I need to edit more, but I don't have the time. Maybe I'll do that with this video, because honestly, I don't know when I'm going to find the time to edit this today, but we're surely going to try to get it all in and out, because I didn't post a video for y'all yesterday, and I know some of y'all were like, where's Zach? To say that all that wetness on my face, especially under my nose, uh -huh. is not a runny nose. I'm so embarrassed. I that think it was, it was so hot and wet in that <laughs> stupid video. What do you know about being so hot and wet, Darlene? But I don't want to start over. So, yeah, you know, like I said, I was in the sun. I was hot. I had just taken a shower. I was drying my hair. Wait, she doesn't have time to edit the rest of the footage from that original video, but she does have the time to come on here and talk about how she didn't look like how she looked in that video. <laughs> I was just hot and sweaty. I had just turned the AC back on, and um, and I, you know, I, I did wipe at least a couple of times. You but did. That, that was you just did. that was just sweat. Uh, no, my nose wasn't running. I promise. I didn't think. I, that's um, not what now, I interpreted. I can't think of a way to say goodbye because I haven't seen the rest. I don't even let, remember what I was talking about. Let me about. suggest <laughs> goodbye. So long to you, my friend. Goodbye for now. Until we meet again, it's been great to play and sing together in the box, but now it's time to say goodbye. 
I don't know if that's the real clap, but you know, they do some kind of clap. I'm, I'm not gifted that way. <laughs> That that could be a way to say goodbye, Darlene. But I know I just want to end this, and uh, you know, obviously I will have another ten pound update as soon as that's ready. Word. I just want to, I guess, end by saying, if you are on the fence about trying this, I'm you're not. worried that it's gonna make you sick. You're gonna die. Uh, your doctor won't like it. Your family won't like it. How can I do it if I'm feeding my family? You you can do it. You can do it. I'm just going to say if I'm obsessed that she's just like if you're concerned that your doctor's gonna have a problem with it Tell that doctor to fuck off. She didn't say that I'm paraphrasing Well, I'm not even really paraphrasing. I'm probably putting some words in her mouth But like she's constantly out here saying like don't worry about what your doctor will say <laughs> Girl <laughs> If you're on the fence go ahead and give it a try Try it for even just a week. Anybody uh -huh. can do anything for a week. Sure. Don't look and say like, oh, I have to change this for the rest of my life. I started immediately when I learned about it. And within, I don't know, a couple days, I was like, I think I could do this for the rest of my life. Now I know for a fact that as long as I have my own mind and I'm not in some nursing home with Alzheimer's or whatever, uh, I will never go back to the way I was eating. I will do this for the rest of my <laughs> All life. All right, work, Diva. I, I, you know, I think, you know, if that's what you want to do, Darlene, I think that's fine. I think you're you're walking a, a dangerous line being out here like, don't worry about what your doctor will say. <laughs> what? I hope that if I'm in a nursing home and they're feeding me potatoes, you know, I want my son to run in and say, no, stop that madness. She doesn't want fucking potatoes. So, uh, you know, at can that you, point, I guess can I you, Can you imagine Darlene in a nursing home? First of all, I would not want to be any of the staff that had to work with her. But, but second of all, I can't imagine somebody's child running in and being like, she only wants ground beef and butter. <laughs> no control over things, right? But I have control now, and I'm doing it for the rest of my life. And it is the most freeing thing ever. Don't be afraid. It's not going to kill you to do it for a little while. I just want people to not procrastinate. If you say you want to do it, just do it. Just start. do it. Just for, start. Forget the professionals. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye, Darlene. I, honestly... So much of her content is so unhinged, but I feel like I just always have a good time watching her. Even if she's saying questionable things, like, it just is all so wild to me. It really, really truly is. Anyways, uh, like Darlene, I, I don't have a lot of time to edit, so I need to just wrap things up right now. But if you enjoyed today's video and you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Make sure to leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all of my social media. And since Poe wasn't in the video, he wants to come say bye! See you next time. Bye.